Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm out in the desert today and for the weekend. Um, and it, I'll have to tell you that the light here is absolu absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful pouring down the light of ascension pouring down on earth. And it's so quiet and, and beautiful. It's, it's, it's so wonderful for my, um, for my soul to be here out in the desert. I, I just couldn't even put it into words. It's like I'm, I'm sipping and, and delighting in light all day long. And so this is in stark contrast to the experience I had yesterday evening. Yesterday evening I had a panic attack. And um, as is sometimes the case, I, I put off taking the, uh, the clonopin. And, um, and because I kind of, when I have a panic attack, I kind of uh, start to experience reality in a different kind of way. Um, and last night, the story that was going on, you know, all these mental filters are clearing earth and, and all these stories are passing through the human psyche and in that way transforming and clearing uh, the earth field. And in fact, since we're, um, since we're out on the edge of the galaxy there, we're clearing for the whole galaxy all of these very dense stories. And the story that was going on last night had to do with domination and control. And this issue has come up before, but last night it came up extremely strongly. And uh, the feeling that I had was one of utter helplessness. Um, and, and, um, and try as I might to feel my heart, the, the panic that I was feeling was so great that I was just unable to, until I took that step to take the, um, the uh, tiny piece of clonopin, I felt like at the effect of, of the mental scene that was floating by. It seemed that a lot of, and you know that, that, that step that we take to help ourselves to do something to change the situation is apparently pretty essential. So, um, but anyway, it seems that, um, I'm going to try to put this into words. We're the co-creators of new reality, but humankind is, is clearing all of these stories. And a lot of people, it seems, groups of people, are still very attached to these stories. <clears throat> And so for those of us that are clearing past them, they're hanging on and presenting these stories to us on the telepathic realm. And so, um, for instance, the, the, um, the theme of control, I mean, my Lord. Um, the thing about the third chakra is it allows us a, a chance to control our own um, to create our own like world, to, to get out there and present ourselves to the world. But the negative aspecting, the distortion of the light that has fallen down upon the earth, yea, these many years, is the notion that we have the right to control someone else's thinking or person, you know. And so, um, so the thing to do, I think, with regard to the third chakra, the navel point, the willpower, is to always keep in mind that this is a free will planet and, um, and that we have the right to co-create the new reality, but not the right to force anyone else to have our own point of view, you know. I think there's a complicated dynamic going on there to do with um, the fight or flight response. So many people are, their cells are like in a state of mild anxiety over the gently increasing incoming light. And so um, I just think 
uh, some people express this anxiety by fighting and others by, f by running away, you know, f fleeing. And uh, so, but it seems that quite a few, um, specifically men, uh, express through fighting. Now we have the history of the war to clear, the history of domination of the world um, um, economy and um, politics and uh, leadership and uh, I can't think what a finance and all that by men for such a long time. And uh, I, I think, I think uh, it, is, it is very difficult for men right now to let that go. So, so um, and in expressing their, their feeling of being threatened, they're actually, um, for women like me who, who say, we simply say, I am I. You know, I am, I am, I am that. And we don't say, um, I will bow to you, I will, um, I, your wish is my command. We don't say uh, the things that are expected of us, you know. All we say is that we stand alone and we, we channel the in, incoming light from, he, from the heavens to the earth. And we allow the misqualified energies of Earth to come through our physical forms and to be transformed by the light of love. Um, and that is my job right now. That is my only job. So, um, and it doesn't fit any other like job descriptions. It doesn't fit, you know, um, wifely subservience. And it doesn't fit uh, the wage slave or the sexual slave or um, the the woman who hands her money to her husband or uh, you know all of the many uh, things that are that are prevalent in our society today uh, are not are are just not in sync with the, the thought of being a light bearer and uh, a, a priestess of the mystery school, um, an oracle, a prophetess, a sister, a sister of the light. These things are, are what we women are, be, are beginning to, to pick up as our role in the world. And, and, it, and it is it is threatening to the old order. So, so as to these events of panic attacks caused by what feels to be greatly um, antagonistic energy from people who demand a, a patriarchal domination uh, point of view. I, this morning I say, here in the desert in the beautiful light, I say, Let us, let us women, um, let us let all that, all that go. These, let us let all of that energy go by, and let us, let us establish in our hearts the, the one great goal of serving the light, of witnessing the light, of transforming the light and let us let us seek the light let us seek the places where the light is the is the greatest let us seek the foods where the light shines forth and as it enters our physical forms let us seek the thoughts that bring us to the very highest um, to the very highest light in our minds and let us forgive because there's so much to forgive here there is just a, um, an incredible amount of suffering passing through and going and leaving earth right now incredible amount of, of harm that has been done to, 
to the weak and the fearful, an incredible amount of 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 anger and and insecurity and desire to to hold on to that which cannot be grasped just as the light comes down on earth every day during the day so too at night the, the light becomes less and in the morning it waxes again and and these are the the ways of earth here these are the understandings that that the light will come when the light comes and that the darkness is here when the darkness is here but that in these times the light is growing ever stronger and the darkness ever less dear sisters in the light I wish you happy days light filled days and days of love and peace together may we all stand for this great planetary transformation. I love you all. God keep you in peace.